Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this butterfly. And this butterfly is actually a variation from the angel wings from one of my advent calendar crochet patterns of the little mini angel. Um, I'll put a link in the description to that pattern, it's a free pattern. Um, but I did. Uh, I've worked on a variation of the wings to uh, turn it into a butterfly, and I thought it'd be perfect for a bit of spring. I've got some lovely, lovely daffodils on my table today. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to need? We're going to be using some. I'm actually using some cotton yarn, some DK light worsted weight cotton, and I'm choosing three colours. Uh, I'm using a base of white. And, and then a couple of alternate colours. And for this butterfly I'm going to make in this video, I'm going to use a blue again, same as there. Um, but I'm also going to use a green this time. And this is actually Rico Design Essential DK yarn. So, and I'll put a link in the description to where you can pick up this yarn. It's actually the same yarn used in my tartan plaid washcloths. So uh, I'll put a link to that video as well because there's a video on how to make this. So we're going to be using three different colours of DK light worsted cotton yarn and I'm going to be using a 2.5mm crochet hook or you can use one that's near to that size or that's suitable for the yarn you're using. And I'm also going to be needing a yarn needle and some scissors. Okay, okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the white and we're going to chain five to begin. So we do our little slip knot, and we're going to chain five. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into the first chain. I'm just going to put my hook into that first chain. It's going to catch that one bit of yarn. Bring the yarn through and through the loop on my hook to slip stitch. And then that creates a loop of chains. All the chains are looped into a circle now. And in the centre of that circle, it's quite a big one, we're going to work 12 double crochets. So what we do, do yarn over first, start our double crochet. And then finding that centre hole there, put our hook into the centre. A little bit fiddly at, fiddly at the beginning. Into the centre hole there. Bring the yarn through, pull up. And then do your double crochet as normal. Through, through two, through two. That's our first double crochet. And it gets easier the more stitches you work into the loop. I'm going to do 12 of those. So we yarn over again and go back into that centre. And you're ignoring how many chains you've done. You're just working these double crochets around the chains into that centre loop. I like smell my daffodils, they're really nice. I need smell a vision. That's three, so we need twelve, three, four, five, get some more yarn. into that centre, six, seven, eight,
the last two. Eleven. And twelve. Alright, so let's check we got twelve, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and there's twelve. Like that. So and then what we want to do is we want to um we want to slip stitch into our first double crochet to join the round. So we're gonna put our hook into that first double crochet, making sure to go through two two loops like so. And then we're going to, instead of um, yarning over with our white, slip stitching with our white, we're actually going to introduce our next colour. And um, because I did blue next after that white, I'm going to go for the green next. And then we'll do blue on the outside. So I'm going to place the yarn over the hook, the green yarn over the hook instead of the white. So I'm going to pull that through my double crochet and the loop on my hook to slip stitch. And just pull your tail ends to tighten that as best you can. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work, we're going to chain one next and keep that loop a little bit loose. And then we're going to work one single crochet in the same double crochet you just slip stitched into. So finding that same double crochet, that first double crochet you slip stitched into, I'm going to go back into there, I'm going to work a single crochet, like so. So you've technically got an increase there, you've got your little chain one and you've got your single crochet. Then in the next stitch we're going to work two double crochet. So we go into the next stitch and I'm going to do two double crochet like the so. then we're going to work two single crochet in the next stitch so one single crochet and another single crochet in the same stitch. So two single crochet. So you've got one chain and one single crochet in that first double crochet. And then you've got two double crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so in the next stitch you want to work one double crochet and one treble crochet. So let's do our double crochet first. Let's go into the next stitch we do a double crochet, pull through two, pull through two. Then we're going to do a treble crochet and we need to yarn over twice. So wrap the yarn round your hook twice. And going into the same stitch again, pull our yarn through. And then we're going to pull through two loops. So you've got three loops left. Yarn over, pull through two. Got two loops left, yarn over, pull through the last two until you're back to one loop. Then we're going to work two treble crochet stitches in the next stitch. So we need to do that again, yarn over twice and go into the next stitch and we pull through two loops. So you've got three loops left, yarn over, pull through two loops. So you've got two loops left. And yarn over, pull for the last two to complete your treble stitch. And do that one more time in the same stitch. So yarn over twice, go back into the same stitch, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So we've got our two treble crochet stitches together. Then we're going to do um, a double crochet and a single crochet in the next stitch. Go into the next stitch and do a double crochet first, and then a single crochet in the same stitch. And 
and then in the next stitch we want to do a single crochet and a double crochet. So going into the next stitch, do a single crochet and then a double crochet. And then we want to do two treble crochet stitches again. So we need to yarn over twice to do our trebles. So in the next stitch, do a treble. So let's pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And then just repeat that again for your second one. Yarn over twice, go back into the same stitch. Bring your yarn through. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two loops. You've got your two treble crochet stitches. Then the next stitch we're going to do a treble crochet and a double crochet. So we start off with our treble, yarn over twice, the next stitch, pull through, and bring the yarn through two loops, pull through two loops through two loops and then a double crochet so just yarn over once okay and then we're going to do then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch it's one single crochet another single crochet in the same stitch and then two double crochet in the next stitch And then the very last stitch, we're going to finish up with two single crochet. It's one single crochet and two single crochet. Like that. Just like that. She says. And then what we want to do is we want to find that chain one at the beginning, which is hidden in there. And then it helps the fact that it's in a different colour. And then putting your hook through that chain one, like that. We're going to slip stitch, but instead of slip stitching with the green, we're going to slip stitch with our next colour. So in this case, it's going to be the blue. Which is getting all tangled up with my green. Okay, so then we just wrap the green, uh, the blue, over a hook and bring that through our chain one and the loop on our hook. And we're now working with the blue. Just pull your tail ends tight. Okay, so it should look a little bit like that. It's actually upside down. And then we're going to work on the next round. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to cut the the white and the green so I can move those out of the way so I don't get in a tangled mess. And finish working with those and this is the last round and what we're going to do is we're going to chain one to begin just pull that tail end a little bit chain one then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch which is going to be this one Do a slip stitch in the next stitch, and then we're going to do one single crochet and one double crochet in the next stitch. So, going into the next stitch, we do a single crochet and a double crochet all in the same stitch. like that. Then we're going to do a double crochet and a single crochet. So we yarn over and do a double crochet to begin. And 
and a single crochet in the same stitch. Oh, what's the only problem with this yarn? <laughs> it can be quite stringy. Single crochet. And then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next two stitches. So we go into the next stitch and then just go straight through both loops, do a slip stitch. And then in the next stitch, if you're just doing a slip stitch, just one slip stitch in the next two. Like so, two slip stitches. That's over two stitches, so that's one in each. Uh, then we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch. So a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. And then we're going to do then we're going to do we're going to do three treble crochet stitches in the next stitch. So we need to yarn over twice. Let's do a treble. We're going to do three treble crochet stitches in the next stitch. So we pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and another one. The same stitch. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, that's all yarn. And then one more in the same stitch, you've got three in the same stitch. Pull through two, pull through two, Oops. pull through two, so we've done three. And then we're going to do three again in the next stitch. So that's three treble crochet stitches in the next stitch. Two, two, two. Another one in the same stitch. And then one more. So we've got three in there as well. Then we need to do one double crochet, one single crochet in the next stitch. So start with our double crochet <clears throat> and then a single crochet in the same stitch. And then we do a slip stitch in the next stitch. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain seven. This is where we do the little feelers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So chain seven. And then we're going to slip stitch into the, the fourth chain of the seven. So count one, two, three, four. So your fourth chain up. Put your hook in there and then just work a slip stitch. Like that. And we're going to slip stitch in the last three. Let's go into the next chain and slip stitch. And into the next chain, just catching that one bit of yarn at the top, and then in the last chain, slip stitch as well, and that brings you back to 
the butterfly and then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch on the butterfly, the main part of the butterfly. Like so, and then we're going to chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then again, we're going to slip stitch into our fourth chain. So one, two, three, four. Finding that fourth chain, hook through. Grab the arm, slip stitch, and we're going to slip stitch into the next three chains, the last three chains back to the butterfly. So one slip stitch, two. brings us back to the main butterfly and in the next stitch on the butterfly we're going to do a slip stitch and then we're going to do another slip stitch in the next stitch and the next one along do another slip stitch like so and then we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch Do a single crochet and a double crochet, all in the same stitch. And then we're going to do our three treble crochets in the next stitch. So it's one treble crochet, pull through two, pull through two. And another one. And another one. Oops, I'm at the background noise. <laughs> and then we're going to do three treble crochet stitches in the next stitch as well. So yarn over twice again, into the next stitch and do another three. And this matches the other side. And I will put a uh, link to a written version of this as well on my blog. This is one, two, three, like so. Then we're going to do a double crochet and a single crochet in the next stitch. Start with a double and a single crochet. And then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next two stitches. So a slip stitch in the next stitch and a slip stitch in the next stitch. Then we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch. Should we do a single crochet first and a double crochet, Get some more yarn, then a double crochet. we're going to do a double crochet and a single crochet. So we do a double crochet first and then a single crochet in the same stitch. And that should leave you with two stitches at the end and in each of those we're going to do a slip stitch. So slip stitch in the next stitch and a slip stitch in that last one 
And then if you can find that chain one you did at the beginning, which always helps because it's in a different colour. Put your hook through there, bring the yarn through and slip stitch into there to join as well. Let's pull those tail ends tight and then we can cut our yarn. And then pull, pull it through and there we go, there's our finished butterfly. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and uh, I hope you can enjoy making some butterflies. I thought it would add a touch of spring to my videos now and uh, try and hope that the weather picks up and we have some nice spring weather. And, uh, so there we go. I hope you managed to follow along and uh, these are great for adding to hats or bags or even you can make lots of them and hang them um, to make a baby's mobile or something. The choice is yours. And all you need to do is just hide your tail ends as well. Just get your yarn needle and this is what I would do. is just take one, thread it onto your yarn needle and then just, as best you can, just thread, just sew it through with similar colours. Just a little bit, just to tighten it. And just trim, trim off the excess, like so. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along. I'm feeling a bit poorly, so um, I hope that made sense. <laughs> but thanks for watching, and I shall see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.